Hey, welcome to Queen City Bully Farms. Um, we're a new upcoming kennel. Um, and I just want to show you guys a recipe that to feed your female that's nursing. And it's really important that you feed her at the top and the best quality that you can because remember she's caring for puppies and and so on. So what I have here is a couple of ingredients I'm going to show you guys what I what I do and this is the fourth litter and this is how I've been doing it uh, with every litter that I have. So what I do is I go ahead and pour some kib kibbles. And then um, what I also do is pour some goat's milk because you can you you can use regular milk because they're you know get get them real sick on the stomach so go with goat's milk because it's they they can digest it easier pour some in there and then what I have here is high cream for syrup and what this is is you know just to give a little flavor she likes sweetness and it's also you know it's calories because remember she's nursing so you want to keep her um, keep her weight up and and so on the progress of nursing the puppies and what I do is I pour an egg and I just pour the the whites in and I leave the yolk out and the egg is for high protein you know to give it protein and, and so on and then what I have here is you know mayonnaise is also uh, mayonnaise is also for you know calories and so on so I mix in I usually do two tablespoons I really know since I've been doing it, I already know how much to put, and we do uh, peanut butter, which is you know has the good fats, you know omega three and so on. And I do like a teaspoon of it, and then I do I pour a little milk replacer. You know this is actually just for puppies, you know that are nursing, you know that's off the month milk. And the reason why I give, give her this is because it has prebiotics and probiotics, and which is real good for the uh, mother, and, and, and um, you know, it's, it's good for her keeping her healthy through this progress. And I just, you know, sprinkle it on top. And then after I get all that, I mix it up. You know, and I do this three times a day. I do it in the morning, afternoon, and then the night. And she gets fed three times a night. And then um, before going to bed, you know, since she's with the puppies and stuff like that, and I stay in with them, you know, to keep my eyes on them, um, I just give her a dry, you know, just like that, so she can feed on, on during the night when um, everybody's asleep and so on. But this is, you know, this you want to give your female the best, you know, feed her. Uh, the best, you know, because like I said, she's nursing these puppies, and um, you know she's going through a lot, and you know she's stressful. So you just have to really good have good take care of her and so on. So this is what I do, and you know she loves it. I mean she eats this real quick. You know if I know she's eating more, you know I'll, I I put more kibbles into it. You know, but like I said, this is how I I've been doing it for the past. This is my fourth litter, and this is how I've been doing it. So. Uh, Please like, subscribe to my channel. We're a new upcoming kennel, uh, Queen City Bully Farms. Um, we have some Louis V and um, J W puppies on the ground right now. They're a week old as of yesterday, June 18. Um, there are for sale. I have first pig female sold. She had three males, three females, and I only have two picks open from the female second and third, and then first and second and third pick male. Um, I'm going to show you guys real quick after this.